Hello everyone, let's learn about renal stones and its management. Three things that you need to know up front. The most common is the calcium oxalate stone. More than 90% of them are radio opaque and the investigation of choice is the non-contra CT of the KOB region. You also need to know the various types and the crystals associated with them. In calcium oxalate, you can either have the monohydrate or the dihydrate type. So remember, a man goes to the gym to lift dumbbells. So monohydrate, dumbbell-shaped crystals, dihydrate will have envelope-shaped crystals. For cysteine stones, remember the word 16 because they sound similar and it has 6 in it. So cysteine stones will have hexagonal-shaped crystals, staghorn or struvite stones. So imagine if a stag attacks you, there is a high chance you'll end up in the coffin. So staghorn calculus will have coffin lid crystals. And the last one is the uric acid stones which are associated with glass shard crystals. Now moving over to the management part, if the stone is present in the kidney, the pelvis or the upper part of the ureter, the treatment of choice is to do an extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy and if this is contraindicated, then your treatment options include doing a percutaneous nephrolithotomy or a retrograde intrarenal surgery. If the stone is present in the mid ureter or the distal ureter, then it's best to do a ureteroscopic surgery for these patients. If it comes to open surgery, if it's in the upper half, you're going to do a pyelolithotomy and if it's in the lower half, you're going to do a ureterolithotomy. So this is about renal stones and its management. Thank you.